Okay, so this is the small room that I picked for two days. It's quite cozy and I think it's like right below the roof. Let's check out the view. It's so pretty. Look at that. And you can see the water. Hey guys, so after a small ride from Manchester to Edinburgh, I'm finally here. And first impressions, um, I walked from the train station to the place I'm staying at and it's a really beautiful place but I don't know why I expected a very quaint and silent place for some reason. I think maybe it was all the pictures and I don't know what it was but I expected a very silent place and I'm surprised that it's not but it's really pretty and I can't wait to go around the city and just figured it out. <laughs> so this was actually a very impulsive decision. I was feeling a little too cooped up in my room in Manchester and I was just so out of my element because I didn't feel like working, I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, I just, I don't know, I felt too stuck in one place and that's not really who I am. So I just booked this impulsively like 10 days before my dissertation submission. I still have 1000 words to, no 10,000 words to go. Okay, I'm not gonna think about that now. So the plan is to kind of travel around um, in the morning and then come back and work in my room in the evening um, except today. Today I'll probably just like travel till 6 or 7 and just go around the city and just see what it's like. But tomorrow and day after I might just um, travel in the morning and come back in the evening and just work on my dissertation, do my own thing. So I don't really have like a very set itinerary which is so weird because I usually do. But today I'm just gonna go with the flow and and the thing is most of these places uh, which I wanted to go to are either closed or you need pre-bookings. And because I'm an idiot, I forgot to like pre-book places and pre-book spots. So I only managed to get like tickets for two places. So I think that's still okay because that gives me more time to like work on the dissertation, which is still my priority. So we will see, we will figure it out. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
So we have woken up to a very very rainy day here in Edinburgh. It's it's incredibly rainy and I just saw the forecast and it's going to rain the whole day. So today I'm not going to be doing much except working on my dissertation. I'll probably just go out and get some coffee and um spend some time in some cafe but that's pretty much it. Yesterday was amazing. The whole of Edinburgh looks like one big fairy tale. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It actually looks like that. Um and I'm so glad that the that the weather was beautiful yesterday because surprisingly I covered almost everything that I wanted to because I I thought it would take like maybe 2 or 3 days to just you know see a few places every single day. Um but I kept roaming around the whole um the whole of the afternoon and the evening and I was done with most of the places and the sad part is that I cannot go into any of the um galleries or even the castle because I didn't pre-book um in advance but that's okay because usually when I go out um and when I travel I kind of go to a lot of uh, these places anyway so this time I'm glad that I got to uh, book a ticket for the Modern Art Museum tomorrow and I'm I'm so excited about that because I I feel like I haven't paid as much attention to modern art as I have to everything else. And also there's this really cozy bookstore which I came across yesterday so I think I will also go there and kind of maybe buy a book or even if I don't buy anything I just still want to go and spend time there cuz it's probably the best bookstore I've ever been to and that's saying something because I mean I have been to a lot of places but they have like signed copies of every book like the first editions the signed copies and you name any topic they have like hundreds and hundreds of books on it and it's such a beautiful place I yeah it's it's probably the best bookstore I've ever been to and then at 4 o'clock I kind of signed up for this uh conference of the book festival the Edinburgh book festival so I don't know if I'll attend it like if I'm really into my dissertation work then I might not attend it but if I'm not if I want to take a break then I will attend that talk so we'll see how it goes today is going to be a very calm and just a cozy little day at home <laughs> Okay so obviously it's raining like crazy and I think the shape of my umbrella changed because of how windy it is It's so windy and it's raining it's insane and oh I I just need a cafe to just go down and sit down at because I don't want to do takeaway uh also simply because I don't want to hold a coffee in such cold wet weather I just want to sit down and have it somewhere nice and then I don't know. Leave from there. Okay so I just got back to my room after that long never ending walk in the rain and I have never been in such a windy rainy situation before I mean I've I've lived in Manipal so I should I thought I would be able to handle it but no it was worse <laughs> was it worth it I don't know but I I left a different person and I came back a different person I I left with straight hair my face all made up and with lipstick and shit and then I came back with my hair god knows in what situation and my there's nothing left on my face <laughs> I don't know what happened to it so but it was a good day and um I got some coffee at least I it got rid of my like the process of it was in great because i did not find a place to sit down and have and have coffee but it did get rid of my caffeine induced headache or the lack of it i should say so it did get rid of that and i'm finally ready to work i guess um but i don't know if it was worth it and i i went to the bookstore and got a book so i don't know i'm just going to declare it was a good day for the, for my own sake 
Okay, so this is the book that I finally got from Topping and Company, and it's a book by Woodhouse, and I've never read Woodhouse before, so I'm kind of excited uh, because I've heard such good things about it. I also got myself this card, um, and you can see my reflection in it. Ooh, hi! So what I usually do is I just get a card from the place I visited, and I write something for myself, and I read it when I feel like it. So I finally started working again and that's pretty much the, the rest of the day. Um, and I also got myself some food from Tesco because before I used to love going out to restaurants if I'm traveling and having like fancy food but now because I'm on a budget and also because I'm trying to be more mindful of the way I spend I just got myself some food from a supermarket and that way I'm saving a lot more to spend outside. And like I mentioned I also registered for the Edinburgh International Book Festival so that starts in six minutes. Uh, the talk that I registered uh, was of Richard Holloway um, and it's the need, the human need for stories. The pivotal chapter in the book is... is Guys, this is so interesting. I'm so glad I signed up for this. And there's no doubt at all that if you look at human history, the human animal, which is what we are, um, these animals with big brains that have come to us over the, the billions of years, there's no doubt at all that we are the most problematic animal on the planet. We may do ourselves in. We're well on the way to doing We're working that on it, yeah. and destroying Fact. the planet. The planet would probably recover and might be better off without us. Such a nice day and I'm really happy. Very tired, but 
very happy. <laughs> Well, I don't know, it's stolen. I mean, it's quite expensive. Oh,